We will find the quotient using polynomial long division. The first step is to set this up as a long division problem where we have the dividend of 8x cubed minus 20x squared plus 18x minus 11 divided by the divisor of 2x minus 3. And now to determine the first term in the quotient, we need to determine what times 2x is equal to 8x cubed. Or if we want, we could divide 8x cubed by 2x. And let's show that division. 8x cubed divided by 2x. 8 divided by 2 is 4. x cubed divided by x to the first is x to the second, or x squared. Remember when dividing, and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. 3 minus 1 gives us an exponent of 2. So 4x squared is the first term in the quotient, which we place above the degree 2 term of the dividend. So we place the 4x squared here, and then multiply 4x squared and the divisor. 4x squared times 2x is 8x cubed. 4x squared times negative 3 is negative 12x squared, giving us minus 12x squared. And now we subtract. However, instead of subtracting, it's easier to add the opposite, which means we can change this to addition as long as we change the sign of the terms inside the parentheses. So we can change this to addition as long as we change this to negative 8x cubed and this to positive 12x squared. And now adding 8x cubed plus negative 8x cubed is zero. Negative 20x squared plus 12x squared is negative 8x squared. And now we bring down the next term and then repeat the process. We now need to determine what times 2x is equal to negative 8x squared. Or again, if we want to, we can divide negative 8x squared by 2x. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. x squared divided by x to the first is x to the first, or just x. The next term in the quotient is negative 4x, giving us minus 4x. And now we multiply negative 4x in the divisor. Negative 4x times 2x is negative 8x squared. Negative 4x times negative 3 is positive 12x. And now we subtract. Instead of subtracting, we will add the opposite. So we change this to addition, change this to positive 8x squared, and change this to negative 12x. And now adding negative 8x squared plus 8x squared is zero. 18x plus negative 12x is 6x. Now we bring down the next term, which is the last term, so we go through this process one more time. We now determine what times 2x is equal to 6x, or we divide 6x by 2x. 6 divided by 2 is 3, x divided by x is 1, and therefore the last term in the quotient is positive 3, giving us plus 3. And now we multiply 3 in the divisor. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, giving us minus 9. And we subtract. Instead of subtracting, we will add the opposite. So we change this to addition, change this to negative 6x, and change this to positive 9. 6x plus negative 6x is zero. Negative 11 plus nine is negative two. So now we know the quotient is 4x squared minus 4x plus three, and the remainder is negative two. I also want to mention that sometimes we write the final answer as a dividend, and then because the remainder is negative two, we write the final answer as minus two over the divisor of 2x minus 3. So depending on your textbook, you may write the answer as shown here or as the quotient and remainder separately. I hope you found this helpful.